Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a Fork. If this is your first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified when I release new content to my returning subscribers. Welcome back, you guys know how much I love you. Anyways, today we're making one of the most popular dishes from Sevilla, España, a fried fish medley known as pescadito frito in Sevilla. Basically, we're gonna grab a couple different types of fish, coat them with some flour, season them with sea salt, and then fry them in olive oil. Guys, this is insanely out of this world good. It's so simple, yet it's so extraordinary. Seriously, guys, this is truly one of Spain's most treasured dishes, and it's so much fun to make. Let's dive right in. We're gonna begin by rinsing two clean tubes of squid under some cold running water. I bought these frozen and thawed them out. You wanna make sure you get water inside of the tube. Then pat them completely dry with some paper towels. And cut half inch thick rings from each tube of squid. Next, I'm gonna add half a cup of all-purpose flour into a clear plastic bag. Generously season with sea salt and add the rings of squid in there. And mix this all together until it's well combined. I love coating my squid rings this way. It evenly coats each one and it makes for an easy cleanup. For the next step, I'm gonna pat down a fillet of cod with some paper towels. This is 14 ounces, which is 390 grams. Again, I bought this frozen and thawed it out. So important to pat it completely dry to remove any of that excess water inside of the fish. Then I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and then into one inch pieces to end up with one inch cubes. Then I'm gonna transfer the cod into a large bowl. Add in about half a cup of all-purpose flour. Season generously with sea salt and gently mix this together until all the pieces of cod are perfectly covered in that flour and that sea salt. For the final fish to prepare, I've got half a kilo of fresh anchovies here. This is about one pound. So important to use the freshest anchovies you can in this recipe. We're gonna begin by cleaning the anchovies. I like to have a bowl of water next to me. Instead of doing this under cold running water, I'm gonna cut the anchovy belly open and get in there and remove any of the innards. Give it a quick bath in the water and add it into a separate bowl. And continue to do this until all your anchovies are clean. If you prefer, you can remove the head, but I like to leave it on there as it gives it so much more flavor. Once all the anchovies have been cleaned, I'm gonna rinse them under some cold running water. Make sure you drain them well. Give them a quick pat down with some paper towels. Add in about half a cup of all-purpose flour into the anchovies. Season generously with sea salt. And using your hands, get in there and gently mix them around until each anchovy is perfectly coated in that all-purpose flour and sea salt. And again, guys, so important to be gentle here. You don't want to break these anchovies apart. All right, let's start cooking up our fish. I'm gonna grab a large frying pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in about one cup of virgin olive oil. After heating our olive oil for four minutes and it's nice and hot, I'm gonna start cooking the anchovies first. You wanna cook these in batches to not overcrowd the pan. About 90 seconds after adding the anchovies into the pan, I'm gonna start flipping them. You want to have this nice light golden color to them. You don't wanna overcook them. After a total cooking time of three minutes, I'm gonna start removing the anchovies from the pan, transfer them to a dish with some paper towels, and then cook up your next batch of anchovies. Once your last batch of fried anchovies is done, transfer it to the dish with the paper towels and cover it with some foil paper, that way they stay warm. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add the pieces of cod in there, and you wanna mix these around occasionally, that way they all fry evenly. About four minutes after adding the pieces of cod into the pan, they have this beautiful golden color to them. They are perfectly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the pan. As always guys, when you're removing this stuff, make sure you shake off any of the excess oil. Transfer it to the dish with the paper towels. And once again, cover this with foil paper to keep those warm. 
And for the final fish to cook, same pan, same heat, I'm gonna add the squid rings in there. Again, you wanna cook this in batches to not overcrowd the pan. And again, we're gonna about 90 seconds per side on the squid rings. Once you have all your fish cooked, this is ready to go. I'm gonna transfer our fried fish into a serving platter. Garnish it with a couple lemon slices and top it off with some freshly chopped parsley. Okay guys, our Sevilla style fried fish medley is done. Look how amazing this platter looks. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. I'm gonna start with the anchovies. Um, so good. Now a piece of the cotton. This is so unfair. Here guys, take some. Wait a second, I'm not sharing this with anybody. This is all mine. <laughs> and last but not least guys, let's try one of the calamari. Wow. Everything is so good. It's perfectly cooked. What an incredible and classic Sevilla style dish, guys. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. Easy to make, done in about 30 minutes. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.